But yeah, uh, media files. What the fuck is that? That's bullshit. That is bullshit. That's terrible. I can't believe that. Oh well, well. I I I don't know. Copy I'm of two minds with Sony. Brandon mm. Beer. Yeah. Oh, is that for you? No, I have a. I'm already consuming for you, man. Second, uh, Pop BL. that BL. shit. BL. You guys coming to Marlowe's after? Marlowe's for a little bia. Marlowe. What tonight? After? Mm. I didn't invite anyone. It's not like we have work tomorrow. tomorrow. You invite yeah. me too. I don't have that was sarcasm tomorrow. from Matt. I also have to get up early tomorrow. I didn't even know you guys were going. Tomorrow. I'm going to get up early tomorrow, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say late. I'll say till like eleven thirty, twelve. Tisk, tisk. You're yeah. a chapters man now. I yeah. Oh, part yeah. time. You're the par- you're the party chapters guy. The party chapters guy. He works. Chapters. He works upstairs, man. Yeah. VIP section. Yeah. Looking down at those other people spitting in their hair when they're talking. <laughs> <about them. laughs> And on that note, let's start her off. This is the normal podcast. Um, if you well, if you're basement new to the podcast, jargon. we've changed it. Basement nah, nah. jargon. It's yes, basement jargon. it's called basement jargon now. We've BJ's man. Is this a democracy? Is this Arab Spring? This We're gonna race, shit, man. bitch. <laughs> We're gonna spam your comment section yeah. with anyways. BJ's. So we changed up the format a bit. Now um, there's no more news in the podcast segment. It is strictly just us talking jargon. about. What we want to bring up and what we've been playing during the week and our typical on the spot question at the end. Because like before we were like <coughs> party in the front, and no more business like, in the back. Yeah, and now it's a better business. No, I model. think it's, it was yeah. always it was business, business in the front. Zero. No, it was business in the front, and party in the back. Exactly. But we were mullets. Now we we're split. Now we're splitting it up. Now we have two different people: <laughs> one with nice hair and one with crazy hair. Instead of it being one disgusting guy with a mullet. Michael. Yeah. Trans Michael. If you want to use analogies like that. Anyways, I'm Adam like usual. We got Matt, Brandon, and Sean tonight. And uh, so what has everyone been playing this week? Can I start? No, sure, go ahead. You're not allowed to start. Call of Duty Ghosts. <laughs> no, no, it's Call of, <laughs> on, let's get, it's Call of Duty 2013. Okay, sorry. The annualization of the Call of Duty franchise. You've actually been playing? No. <laughs> <laughs> How could you be playing? Ha ha ha. We are, we are going to make a lot of jokes about that. kind of. No, no, I've been... Don't know what I've been playing. GTA yeah. Five still. Still, you haven't still. beaten it yet. I play. Oh, our, I I beat that, and it was very strange. The ending was kind of. <laughs> There's two endings. Yes. Is there? Yeah. Really? And I've I've. You interneted can... the second ending. Yeah. The you missed the hand ending. motions though of him on his I've, keyboard. Yeah. I'm, I'm, no. Okay. So Mimicking, besides typing. still playing GTA Five, I started Arkham Origins. Yeah. When when I was taking a shower this morning, I was actually creating. A, he was like thinking about us. That's what he's saying. Yeah, he was thinking about us. Photos of Matt and Brandon <laughs> on the shower. kissing each other <laughs> while I take a shower. Yeah, um, he's got holes in the meanwhile, mouth. Meanwhile, I'm you'd be surprised watching. how many photos of Matt and Brandon kissing each other. I don't even need to Photoshop that. They just do that. <laughs> um, no, no. So overall, sort of, kind of, kind of, funnily enough, funnily is not a word. Kind of humorously enough, it's a lot like comparing it to Call of Duty. It plays Those it completely are... safe in every single avenue, um, except the story seems a little bit, probably more grounded and a little bit better written than Arkham City. Well, wasn't that the whole point? I thought you said the story was yeah. flat out better than Arkham yes. City. and it still is the case. Did I talk about this last week? You talked only. Be- you said that you played for a few hours, but you weren't going to give a proper impression about it yet because you felt like ah, it yes. started off really slow and you wanted to give it more chance. So the more time that I'm put into it, the more I feel that it unfortunately does not need to exist. I'm still going to hold really? that. Yeah, unfortunately. Because the narrative is strong, but the more time that I spend with video games, the more that I'm aware that narrative is only so important in a game that you're actually playing. And the value of playing something holds a huge, huge value as a as opposed to just watching something on the internet. And so if I could just watch Arkham Origins and get the same impression out of it, I can say that at this point that is the case. Is it maybe like just because you've played too much Batman? Like you beat the first one, you beat the second one. Yeah. At this point it's like Assassin's Creed. Like you destroy like you played the first one, you destroyed the second one and all of the da- all of the extra ones that came afterwards. Yeah. And then when the third one came around you just thought it was a gigantic turd. You didn't think it should exist, and you didn't want to play. You're right. So I can almost compare it to I'm also playing Pokemon X, and I feel that 
had I only ever played one Pokemon game, I would want myself to experience this generation of Pokemon. It has the best roster of Pokemon. It has the most diversity in terms of trainers that you fight, locales that you visit. It just feels the most dynamic and interesting. But at the same time, I feel like it's I'm held back because I've, I've literally played every Pokemon game. And so I can't appreciate it on the same level that I think people who have experienced only this Pokemon can. That's because you're oversaturated. Exactly. And I feel that the same experience is going to be held with future Arkham games. And that it, I've reached that point, like you would mention, it's a critical mass where I've played just enough of this to develop this poisoned impression of the franchise. Yeah. And it's unfortunate that that's the case because I want to love this game. When I'm playing it, I kind of enjoy it, but I just feel that there are just so many little things with it that I'm becoming more and more aware of that are holding me back from appreciating it. Okay. Yeah, well, see, the thing is, I've, I've been playing Disgaea this week, or I played it yesterday for like four hours or something like that. Um, so it's the new Disgaea. It is a sequel to the original PlayStation 2 Disgaea game. And, like, I've played all of them. I've played all almost all of the NIST games that have released, all the strategy games. To an extent, I, I'm almost to the point where you are with those games. But the thing is, like, I played the first one a ton. Way more than I played the second or the third. Uh, the, the second one couldn't stand. The third one was better than the second one. The fourth one was better than the third one. And I played the third, the fourth one more than I played the other two combined. Was this guy the one where we had... Yeah, yeah. 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 This guy. And then I just happened to... Yeah. Te Footnote. Yeah. What had happened, what these two are referring to for the people who are not involved in And we this, did the same with Final Fantasy. Was that Adam and Matt were pseudo-competing with each other. And I had suggested to Matt um, to create several files to completely destroy and cripple Adam's <laughs> self-esteem. Adam would have played 70 hours. Matt, of course, in reality, would have played 200, 300 hours, but have created several accounts. I didn't do that. So you though. hustle Adam. You say, oh, I've only played 60 hours. And Adam would feel this false sense of security. And then you would introduce him to the 300-hour file and then proceed to bukkake him with men <laughs> that you would hire in the street to shark him. Shark him. <laughs> That's yeah. not what so the, the thing you take away sure. from this is Sean's an <laughs> asshole and Matt is crazy when he plays video yes. games. Yes. <laughs> and together we are psychotic. We are Steve Jobs <laughs> and that walking at guy who is quite large. I've only seen a photo of him recently. He doesn't look like he should be <laughs> that large. Yeah. With a name like Wozniak, you expect him to look like a a camel or some sort of a <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yes, so I've been playing this game and <coughs> well, wait, what, what this guy was that? Which no, one? we did. did the first one. The first one. It was actually the first one. Which was yes. officially ten years ago. I think that's why they ten years. C two. Yes. Uh, no, no, it wasn't. It was like two thousand. Oh, maybe yeah, maybe it has been ten, ten years. years. Why did they call it double D? I don't understand. I don't know. There's probably a lot of that. D squared in it. Anyways, they changed a few things with this one. Some things I'm annoyed with, and some things I can understand. Basically, um, okay, before the way the shops worked, when you went into a shop, it would give all the items in one big list and it would always cycle different things okay so like so maybe you wouldn't find the best sword that time but you just exit and go back in and it would actually <laughs> refresh all the items and make it uh, like it would it would just give an air of randomness to it okay but it would also change all the innocence inside the weapons which if you know anything about the scale basically you have these extra uh, uh, statistics inside the weapons that you can like augment and move around or whatever and it, it, it's an entirely different system. The game is very involved. It's crazy. Anyways, to get to my point is, in the new game, when you go to the store, um, all the weapons that are available to you, so if you sorry, if you go to the council and get more expensive items, it, it shows up in the list, all the ones that are available. So you don't have, there's no more guesswork. It's not like, oh, is the best one available right now? No, I'll exit and come back in. Mm -hmm. So they're always available. There's no more guesswork. The only thing that's annoying, see, that, that part's cool. The part that's annoying is that there's no innocence inside the weapons <coughs> or any item that you can buy in a store now. So the mechanic is removed. The mechanic is removed. Not necessarily, no, because if you get items from bonuses, like if you, uh, in the when you're doing a level, you get this like bonus meter and at the end of the stage, you, you get like bonuses depending on how far you went down the meter. And you get items, you get experience, you get money, stuff like that. So the items you get from that or from chest or from stealing from different creatures during the fights, those items have innocence okay and you can go into the item world of those items and then you know transfer the person over so it's kind of annoying because 
it, it kind of like stops people from abusing the system because I used to abuse it all the time. I would just go in and out of the shop and wait for the innocent that I wanted, buy the item, and then go into the item world just to take the innocent and go there. Now it's more of like you kind of play with what you get. But see, the problem with that is that they're taking away what was most enjoyable about this game, right? When you were playing, it's all, it's weird because to compare it to Final Fantasy, for example, which sort of pretends that it's not an RPG, because the core enjoyment, I think, for some minority, majority, I don't know the statistic on it, of people who play RPGs, especially Japanese RPGs, is to exploit the core mechanics of it and to create this like uber human, right? Because RPGs at their core introduce an awareness of statistics that aren't available to people in other genres, right? Um, so Matt, for example, when he plays RPGs, he enjoys recognizing the scenes in an experience to exploit that. Final Fantasy VIII being a perfect example. Um, and I'm sort of the opposite. When I play an RPG, I don't like to see those scenes. And so Disgaea, one of the reasons why I didn't enjoy them is because those scenes, that meta game, is always part of the experience. And so going back to what you were talking about, why would they take away something that was so enjoyable? So a scene that people obviously exploited, but it was part of the fun. I mean, monsters end up leveling to, what, a thousand anyway? So like, there's, always, <laughs> there's, always, there's always challenge. You can essentially still be playing this scale one today, having put hundreds upon hundreds upon thousands of hours, and still be leveling up and still being challenged. So I don't see why they would remove something like that. I don't know. I Like I said, I haven't played too much, so I'll talk about it a lot more next week. That was just the one thing I took away from the beginning that I realized right away that was different. And how is the HD sprites? Have they been? They look okay. Look like every other sprite from. But it looks better than it looks better than the third one. The third one didn't have HD sprites. The fourth one did, and this one does. So it does look better. <coughs> this one has HD backgrounds as well. This um, game four did not have. That. It has realistic backgrounds. It looks. It looks the same. It's, to be honest, like the backgrounds don't look any different. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Whatever. That's how those games are. That's... Yeah. What about you guys? What have you been playing? I have Sky Z two, but I just. Don't want to play it. And it's plastic. <laughs> You're not sure if you want to return it? I'm going to burn it. In front of Adam. Yeah. <laughs> but I have it, so it doesn't matter. No, I'm just going to burn it. Just in front like of an him. effigy. Yeah. Um, do you know if you want to return it or what? Can you return it still? Hey, I got 30 days. It's been about... He like, hasn't opened it yet. You should now. probably return it. I mean, yeah. if you were obviously so... Because I already have Kingdom Hearts and then GTA, and I still haven't finished The Last of Us, and I have Pokemon. No, well, we got to finish Last of Us first. No, yeah, so you've been playing Pokemon, eh? How many more hours did you sink into it? I put 30. 30 total. in total? So you only played another 12 outside yeah. those two days you put 18 into it. Yeah. <laughs> Took uh, him two days to put 18 yeah. hours, and then a week to put 12. Yeah. It's good. Come on, Brandon. Been busy. Been busy? Yeah. Yeah. Not busy enough. <laughs> Jerking it. It's good. So what are you what are you getting away from Pokemon then? Nothing really. It's Pokemon. It's exactly it's Pokemon. I never really beat Pokemon. Never? Well I beat I beat it when I when I uh, borrowed it a long time ago. When it was a when it was just the first two. When you were like ten. Red, when I was ten. And I never played it again really. I mean, I played it in, in passing. Yeah, but I never completed another Pokemon ever since. That's true. To be honest, I I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I'm the same way. I don't think I've ever beaten an, another one other than like one of the Red blue or reds. Gold. Yeah, yeah. I think I might have beaten gold or silver. I don't remember. Well, so technically, I have gold and silver, so I only beat one of them. I didn't beat both. It doesn't matter, man. <laughs> if you beat same. the generation, After that's that. all we're asking. See, if people aren't completely absorbed with the nostalgia of playing red and blue. I think that anyone who's played Gold and Silver recognizes how much it's contributed to the day-night cycle, for example. I think they introduced the uh, Pokemon uh, breeding. Yeah. No, the, the, the sexes. The berries, were, the oh, sexes, cool, the, that, yeah. the differences in the way that they look. It did everything, and then there hasn't been another leap since. But and I feel the cell now, phones. No? On cell phones? And their cell phones. You can call people. Oh, yeah. You can yeah. feed the Pokemon on your Android phone. See, really? Uh, not an iPhone, though. <laughs> no. It's yeah. not available yet. See, that's the most... What I what I'm what I felt was the best about gold and silver is there was a sense of persistence to the world. So I remember there's this joke, it's a Pokemon joke, where the first person you always fight is Joey and he always has that rabbit. Yeah. 
And he always just, he thinks he's going to beat you because he has that Rattata. And I don't know in what world his mom raised him where he thinks that that basic level Pokemon that he doesn't even raise is going to somehow be able to beat you. <laughs> and then in like 20 hours from then, he calls you because he's still that patch of grass. You know, he's not going to school. He's just chilling in the grass. <laughs> and he, at one point, his Rattata is eradicated because he's trained it so much. That experience has not been replicated in any other Pokemon game. There's no sense of persistence to it, which I'm a little upset with. And I think that X and Y doesn't have that, but it introduces so many of the best Pokemon in it that you it's literally a greatest hits. Every single blade of grass you go into is a Pokemon that you loved in other generations. You know? I don't know if Brynon feels the same way. Having I don't know how many of the Pokemon you've played, but it's just it was so exciting to come into these Pokemon in three dimensions, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're just looking at me and I'm like, like he, he directed the question. the question towards you. <laughs> like, what happened? What just happened? Ah, it's okay. Like, I don't, I don't think I feel the Brad same. Brad is so unenthused. <laughs> it's Pokemon. Like, you want to play it <laughs> and grind. I'm, I'm not supposed to grind, but I want to grind. <laughs> you can't grind. It's an automatic grind. You just go through the game and you grind. I know, no, but you like, can stay in one spot and, and yeah. collect Pokemon. Exactly. And then I'll take those Pokemon and grind them up until like a certain level. Yeah, That's what you do. You grind your Pokemon. <laughs> grind them together, em. man. <laughs> you gotta smoke them. What's cool is with the you can get like Pokemon miles as you walk, and you can exchange them. I don't know if you can do that with the old ones, but you can exchange them for items. No, you can't. It's the first one that he introduces. Them. So that's some new. Uh -huh. Yeah. So your sister has it, right, Matt? Yes. Have you played it at all, or have no? you looked at it? No, I haven't. I haven't looked at it. Have you looked at it? <laughs> <laughs> Not in that way, at least. <laughs> No, I haven't looked at it. Oh, so what have you been playing this week? Me? Yeah. Well, I beat uh, Metro 20. Yeah? Oh. How did, did it get any better? No. Don't. <laughs> no. Uh, no. I was going to stop him. Do not introduce. Because now I never want to play this game. <laughs> Wait, it, it actually pro progressively got worse for me. Really? Yes. How? Overall, <laughs> overall, without speaking about all of its shortcomings, try to, in a sentence or two, the things you liked about it, the things you didn't like about it, and then... Give it like a score on ten with a fine <laughs> being an average. Sentence. <laughs> in three words. No, in, in, no, in no. two and a half words. One of them has to be frustrating. Okay, well, let, first, let, first let me just <laughs> say what happened. Okay. Because uh, you get introduced to a new enemy. It's called a librarian. A librarian. It's actually. Oh, it's actually a librarian. A, guess, guess where you fight it. Guess where you in fight it. In a library. Yes, in a library. That, but that's why it's called the library. Yeah. So these things are. Does like, it have a bun? No. And glasses? No. It's an alien. It's a creature. <laughs> it's a creature. They're incredibly hard to kill. But apparently there's ways to go around them, which is literally just running by them, getting them stuck on certain things because it glitches, because they'll get stuck on things, mm -hmm. and then just keep going. But I didn't know this because I wasn't going to play like that. I was trying to gun through my... I killed three. I ran out of ammo. And that was in the first part of the level. But I thought you said you had like 300 bullets all the time. Yeah. I used every single bullet in all those three of three. my guns to kill three of them. Wow. It just took forever. All my grenades. Yeah, but you're playing everything. on hardcore, no? Yeah, I am. I'm playing hardcore. 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 And then, yeah, so there was still more. Then I had to look up. I'm like, well, how else can I get by this without any bullets? I can just run by them, apparently. Because I'm faster. They can't catch up. Are you more furious? Though? I am furious. <laughs> I was pretty furious. Okay, so as Actually, per Sean's request. As per, no, wait, wait, wait. So I beat it. There's two endings. I didn't know there was going to be two endings. That's all Because apparently doing. you... This is much longer than sentence. It's apparently you... <laughs> he hasn't stopped talking. Yet, I haven't. Uh, there's just a lot of commas and, and semicolons. Semicolons, my friend. Yes. Those are beasts. <laughs> so yeah, uh, there's two endings. Because you gather morale points throughout the entire game. Did not know that was happening. You have morale points? Yes. What? Every now and again, the oh, screen... Wait, moral or yes. morale? Moral. <laughs> moral. Morale. I thought you said morale. Because it's a macro level strategy game. Technically, that's what it is. You think you're moral. playing a guy shooting a gun, but it's really... Because they're not really moral points at some <laughs> at some instances. Do you kill the kid, or do you <laughs> teach it to read? It's all black and white. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the screen will occasionally flicker white. I was wondering, what the fuck's going on? But it's a supernatural game, so I figured, okay, maybe there's something happening that I don't really know about. There's ghosts in the game. There's just strange shit happening all the time, so I figured, oh, it's just atmospheric. It's part of the game. No, it turns out, that's when you're gathering the moral points. Thing is, there's like about eight instances where you can lose, but about three or four dozen times you can gain. The thing is, you need to get a lot, apparently, to get the good ending. Okay. And That's I didn't get the good ending, I got the bad ending, even though I got... Wait, I don't know bad is in, like, you kill yourself and everyone no, dies? Uh, or, the world the good, blows up? No, because originally, before the second one was came out, the good ending was supposed to be... the People thought it was the canon ending. But it turns out that's not actually the canon ending. <laughs> the bad ending. The bad ending is. Yes. Huh. 
Okay. But the bad ending is the nice, like the, the bad way. Like you're an asshole. The good way is you're a nice person. Yeah, from what I've read, the librarians are a species of almost gray men. They're aliens that have somehow been gathering yes. information. And no, it's, well, it's not the librarians. The librarians are controlled by them, just like all the other monsters. Are controlled by another species. Yeah, it's something dark, something or other. Okay. That are scaring everybody. Summarize in three words or less. <laughs> Two words, one of them being frustrated. Two and a half. No more masks. masks. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> three words. So what, so what did jokes. you actually like about this game? Because I'm sure that you somehow enjoyed some of your time. Well, it was a good shooter. Okay. I enjoyed, well, for the most, until you <laughs> fucked up on the aim. Okay. Occasionally. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if that's part of the hardcore, but I, on the PC, that's what happens. You How was its atmosphere? Shoot. I read that that was The atmosphere was amazing. I loved it. I loved being in the, the sewers. The way It was very creepy. It was very, like, okay. a scary game. Yeah. Just because the the aspects of the ghosts and these stupid mm -hmm. demon things chasing you every yeah, now and again. Demon souls. Demon souls. <laughs> Some souls. <in. laughs> All right. And the bad. There's a lot. A lot. I'm not gonna get into that. The dark glitches souls. and yes. okay, he's so already spoken. To sum it up, the glitches and yes, because things tend to get stuck. Yes, okay. it's very <laughs> frustrating. <laughs> so what would your score be then on ten? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I like to. I'd say like six a six or seven. seven. That's yeah. a pretty solid score. It's solid. God, With solid five being average and so six and a half, a six or a seven. That's it's good. Just, just I actually. But again, that's... then again, I still have two more hard difficulties to try. <laughs> Why would you even bother? Why not? Uh, Why not? Again, even the last level, there was a point where um, I don't know if this is technically a spoiler for either of you, but you fight. The... <laughs> 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 Your body good... doesn't want you to <laughs> tell it. <laughs> it's a Stephen King novel. Then I'm actually going to tell you at the end. <laughs> you just die. That's it. Uh, no, you fight these blob things that come out of like these pouches or whatever they look like. I'm very sensitive about Kangaroo gelatinous pouches. creatures. Yes, so. but they explode on contact. The thing is, you follow a guy is just walking to the NPC <laughs> and they'll just, like, there's tons of them and they'll just start swarming him. <laughs> they'll yeah. ignore you completely and swarm him. And the thing is, you have to shoot them and kill them before they get to him or he dies. So I didn't know, I had no I was out of ammo. I had no idea how to get past this part, so I looked online. You can sneak around the left because walking towards the guy will cue him to start walking. Okay. But if you Swoop around the left. There's a ledge that you can stand on that's literally like a pixel big that you you're walking across to get around to the other side of the uh, the spawners of these balls. Yes. <laughs> Ball spawners. Okay. Yeah, and then you can destroy them without spawning anything. Oh, okay. That's so cool. it's it's cheating. Yeah. It's finding no, glitches. I, I hate things that explode on contact. When I was playing Path well, of Exile, they move so fast. They move faster like, than he walks. Oh, it's bullshit. When I was playing Path of Exile last week, I was playing this boss, and this thing literally ha it has two forms, right? So the first one's already a piss off because anything that slows your movement, just like the more they hit you, the, the slower you move. And it's not just moving around, it's attacking too, they slow you down, okay? So I'm a melee and I'm basically living off my attack speed, okay? Because I, I attack really fast and I life steal whenever I hit. So now when I kill this boss the first time, it dies and then it resurrects to something else that spawns units, okay? Now the units that it spawns, for the most part are okay until it starts spawning the ones that explode. Now, the first time I was fighting it, I wasn't even aware that it was going to spawn the ones that explode because it's basically the exact same unit, just red instead of blue, okay? That's your cue, that it's red. It's yeah. going to explode. But the problem is, I wasn't even paying attention. It's I was just trying fire, to kill this thing. Either fire or it's going to explode. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, there's like five things around me, and then boom, explode, and I die. I'm like, what the fuck is this bullshit? Because your sauce is weak, man. Yeah, my That's... sauce is weak, so I have to restart or whatever, and then I have to start kiting everything because the thing's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> also, yeah. also what I've been playing is I picked up Borderlands 2 again. Oh, you oh, were on yeah. yeah. um, I played that game. <laughs> I own it. I played 15 minutes of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's 15 minutes of your life. Yeah. Good investment, Brandon. <laughs> <I know. laughs> because uh, the uh, the Halloween special came out. Oh, and what did it do? It's called the Head Hunter Package, so okay. it's just more head skins that you can get through playing missions and whatever. Oh, nice. But the thing is, I thought it'd be part of the season, season pass, right? Because I bought the season pass. Oh, it's pass. not even part no, of it? No, it's not part of the season Are pass. Are you serious? No. Yeah, but look, uh, since I got the game, there's been four expansions, so that's not bad. That's the equivalent to almost the game. Mm -hmm. Right. But the things that don't come with the season pass, which I thought was really weird, was the two expansions to the game, where it increases your level by 10. And adds another difficulty. Wait, those aren't part of it? No, those aren't part of it either. I just had to, because I went back, I had to buy the new one to get to the max level of 72 and to get the new true Vault Hunter mode because there's huh. another one. Yeah. And I had to buy the Halloween one. Huh. Yeah, that I is upsetting. Started, Speaking it is. for you, because it is very upsetting. You were obviously, you were obviously in the best, you know, if we're using, is it, it's BCG, using Boston Consulting's like diagram of, of like, 
of different arbitrary animals. You are the cash cow. They should be appeasing <laughs> you because you're obviously of a, a great deal of loyalty to them. You bought the season pass, which I personally think is like it was expensive too. It's, it's like, like stepping bucks. into a box. Really? I and think then, so. It was like wasn't it twenty bucks? Something like that. I have no clue. It's putting way too much faith into a developer that you have no sense in what they're going to. Like for example, Arkham Origins. Their season pass is giving you different skins. Yeah, that I want to Giving get. you a campaign that you're Bruce Wayne, which is awesome, by the way. Why would they withhold that from the game? You know, it's called Arkham Origins for a reason, and yet you're never Bruce Wayne. What is that? That doesn't make any sense to but me. But what would you do with Bruce Wayne? Well, yeah, I'm it's going to a business meeting. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I got a board meeting today. <laughs> you, I can't be Batman. Have you never played God of War before? It's the sex scene. He's just going to be That's it. Like That's that. It's Batman <laughs> having sex. It's Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Um, no, we're but buying like, stuff. We're yeah. buying stocks, yeah. They're going to have, like... Getting swindled out of his company. So that's one thing that's interesting that's never really explored is in Arkham Origins, you fight cops in a, and also fighting criminals. And so when you're fighting the cops, you would think that he'd have a different stance or he'd have different animations when you're fighting them. I don't know if he does. I mean, he's still grabbing them and, like, breaking their wrists and, like, smashing them with things. It's like, you don't do that to cops. They're going to retire. Yeah, they're going to go... Yeah, exactly. First of all... <coughs> First of all, it's terrible for people who are paying taxes because then it's just a whole pool of their money that's going into paying for these people who are. <laughs> well, technically, injured. how many cops do you kill? What, like about a thousand? Maybe Six. more? We don't kill any of them. That's the well, problem. Hard. How many? They yeah, all go on unemployment and they're how many do you hurt them? <laughs> the real question is how much money yeah. does Bruce Wayne pay in taxes? He probably covers the entire budget of the police. Even then, how many have you hurt? Thousands? Because they keep coming, technically? Well, I've. Yeah. To double KO people, he grabs their heads and smashes them together. <laughs> so, so concussions. That's, that's a concussion. He could kill them. He could have killed them. Um, killed them. Uh, broke their kill nose. Any of them. No, their heads. It doesn't matter. Your He'll skull just... is hitting another skull. You're not gonna die. It can crack and you can die if you hit it hard enough. He'll just hope... He's Batman. He's super strong. He's not. No, he's not super strong. He's regular strong. He's, <laughs> he's not actually a superhero. Yes, he's regular. Have strong. you seen his biceps? <laughs> They're like, it, how could you have biceps like that? He's just like this this weird, he's blobish Popeye. man. He's who, Popeye. He's Brock fucking Samson. <laughs> yeah, he's Brock Samson. Also on League of Legends, I finally got out of my curse. I've not even been winning oh, matches. you won a game? Yeah. I've, I've, been, I've won a few. That's good. Yeah, All right, so question, question of the week. week. Okay. Yes, question of the week. I was thinking about, so far, what is everyone's game of the year? This year? This year of 2013. Um, I don't know, I've playing a lot of them. But of the games you've played that have been released in 2013, because if I had to choose something that was released in any year that I played this year, I think I would put XCOM on that list, but that's yeah. just because I've played it. Yeah, was but it, it came out last year. year. Yeah. It was released last, last year. year. Yeah. So you wouldn't be able to say that. Um, I, say I, haven't, I don't think I've played any games that have been released this year. Yeah, Bioshock Infinite, The Last of Us. What was that? Of this? Oh, was at the beginning of the year? This was all this year. Infinite, yeah, it was released at the beginning of the year. Same yeah. thing with the Last of Us was released this year in GTA Five. Mm -hmm. Um there's there's Hot quite a few games. No, that was not released that was this year. Fantastic. Yeah, really, that was, was a really fantastic, fantastic game. game. Yeah, I think so. So good. Did you end up beating it? Yeah, I beat it to the well, it's still, very quick. The thing is the point is the point of Hotline Miami is not to go slow. It's more fun to just take access go play. through it. Yeah. Yeah. Blow through it. Yeah, yeah. Just, and it's just more exhilarating, enjoyable. Yeah, for sure. Fast. I feel no, like it should have been the score system that like, kind of really upset me. Why? Because it's like it's impossible to you get. Got last. I don't, <laughs> I don't even look at the score system. All kinds it's of Fs. Like, <laughs> it's like, okay, I got the score points. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. I don't know, it's hard to say. I beat Bioshock Infinite. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I like the ending and the, everything like that. I don't think I've played enough of The Last of Us to actually coherently say it would be game of the year. Um, GTA 5 I beat also. And how does GTA 5 stack up against Bioshock <coughs> Infinite? Well, as far as... Like, GTA 5's scope is just so much bigger than Bioshock Infinite. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm pretty sure the narrative is just a lot better in Bioshock Why? than it is in GTA 5. Well, I mean, it's it's a lot more focused, I find. Like, GTA 5 is a little bit all over the place. I mean, it has its main storyline, but then it branches off into all over the place. Yeah. Well, that's so what it's a little bit... was for. What? Sorry? That's what a free roam was for. Mm -hmm. No, but I know that's the whole point of it. But yeah. I think the experience is just better in Bioshock Infinite because that is it's it's a it's a lot more it's a lot more condensed and it's a lot more um, direct and a lot more focused than in GTA Five. So everything it does, it does well. Whereas GTA Five does a lot of things good, 
but nothing amazing. That's what I'm experiencing now. I feel like the tempo is completely off. I've been doing so many of these missions where you're together for the FIB, and none of them are, like, some of them are not that good. Like, I did one now where you have to, like, stop <coughs> a truck from coming. You put, a, like, a um, like a garbage truck in the way. Yeah, and yeah. Stuff. That was not a very fun mission. <laughs> that still took, like, 25 minutes, 30 minutes to get yeah. through. And you had to, like, dress yeah, you know up I mean. in suits. And did you do the mission yet where you robbed the bank? No. Okay, small time bank. It's not a big bank. Fun. Bank of Montreal. Lots of fun. That is a lot. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. But I'm just I'm I'm a little off put by how little, f- quote unquote, fun I'm having with the game. Yeah. I'm just I'm kind still, of going through the motions. Yeah. The the immersion is huge. Like honestly, playing it, I feel like I'm immersed in it, which is big. The fact that there's missions on top of that is nice. But the fact that the missions themselves are kind of a little pedestrian. And by pedestrian, I mean very commonplace, not that exciting. Sorry, yeah, a lot of walking. walking. A lot yeah. of walking yeah. is, is off putting. So I'm gonna have to go with Bioshock Infinite, I guess, Sean. So far, I want to say Shin Megami Tensei Four. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know if I can say that. It would be with reservations. I think that right now, as game of the year, game of the year, I would probably have to go with. Uh, no, Shin Megami Tensei Four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's what you like, Brandon? To be Pokemon. honest. Any inputs? Any. Yeah, there's also Pokemon too. To be honest, I haven't really finished any game besides Bioshock. Yeah? I have never completed another game this, this year. year. No? Besides Bioshock. That's a good quota. <laughs> so, I mean, I have I buy a shit ton of games, but I never finish them. You return no. them? It's like me. I don't even return them. I just have no, a huge collection. No, Kuni. I, oh, that yeah, was in 2003. It was 2003. It was in January. No, it came out No, it came out last year in Japan, but it came out this year in oh. North hmm. America. So, yeah, Nino Kuni and... Bioshock. Bioshock. So which one? What, what would you say <laughs> is game here? Well, not necessarily. It doesn't mean you have to beat it. It's just what do you think? Even if you didn't beat the game, it doesn't mean you didn't have a good time with it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I always have a good time with it. Yeah, beating a video game isn't necessarily <laughs> the only criteria. As long as you've played enough of it to feel like you've... Like like Adam has said, he hasn't played enough of The Last of Us to actually... To warrant me giving it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. All right, well, well, Brandon thinks. What about you, Matt? What do you think? I don't know. I don't you play I, a lot of games. I don't think I can give Last of Infinite. a year, uh, game of the year yet. No? Would it be no, Bioshock Infinite? No, it's just because I haven't At this played... moment, we're going to do no, it again. In... I know, but I'm just saying just because I haven't played the other games that are supposed to be big titles. Like, NBA like yeah. for example. Arkham. <coughs> Origins? Yeah, and I can Assassin's Creed 4. I can not winning anything. But <laughs> Assassin's Creed 4, I can see. <laughs> yes, Honestly, I can see it. There's been people are saying possible. that they took the best of all the games and put it okay. into one. That's why I'm including actually... Including the boats of the three. After these reviews have come out, I actually want to go ahead and buy Assassin's Creed 4, which is huge, and that would make me the biggest hypocrite because Assassin's Creed 3 was arguably the worst game that I've ever played in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty close. I know so much hate. <laughs> oh, you sold it? You finally sold it? No, I, no, I still have it. Um, <laughs> I actually, played, the thing is, I, I bought it off you and I never played it. I actually <laughs> enjoyed the first like couple hours of that game. and then Yeah, and then you I just hated it. it. You enjoyed the first cup? Oh, because you're the okay. father. No, no, I was, I was actually the boy hunting. I enjoyed it so much. I was setting up traps. I was learning things in. I was hunting yeah. everything in every area. I'm like, this is fucking amazing. Okay. And then it just shit. I'm gonna give it, make it easy because we're gonna do this again in like a month when actually we had time then to I'll play wait. the games that are coming out within a, a week or two. At this moment, right now, if the year was ending tomorrow, what would be the game of the year? Yeah. Infinite. Infinite. <laughs> Infinite. Yeah. It would be Infinite. Well, I think. Uh, they, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what did you the play? Bioshock Infinite. Yeah. Be and I like Last of Us more. You like the last, mm-hmm. so then the Last of Us would be your game yeah. of the year, no? But I don't know. I still played other ones. I played Nino Kuni. I enjoyed Nino Kuni just as well. So would Nino Kuni beat the Last of Us? It's a completely different yeah, game. Yeah, in the moment, knowing Matt, and if I could speak for you, is that... You may not. Nino Kuni <laughs> is <laughs> Asian. No, no. And then The Last of Us is more Hungarian. But so Matt... He has this very like, crazy <laughs> power. <laughs> like, it's conflicting him. But Matt, is, right in the middle. But Matt is the type <laughs> the of reviewer child. that gives a 10 to every game until they start doing terrible things, and then he gradually decreases the score of video games. And yeah. so The Last of Us, in our conversations together, he has decreased the score less... Than he has in Nino Kuni, and I think that based on that weird logic, that The Last of Us is a better game. So we're 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 voting for you. He's kind of like a like a Dick I like, I like Third Rock from the Sun. I like League of Legends. That was a pretty good game. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Anyways, <laughs> so Dick in Third Rock from the Sun, he when he's learning how to tip, huh. he doesn't understand it, right? Because he's an alien. Yeah. And the funniest thing is, he comes up with a system where when they get to the restaurant, he has like a wad of dollar bills at like fifty. One dollar bills, right? And he's like, "This is your potential tip for the night." 
Every single time I see you do something good, I will add to it. Every time I see you do something bad, I will remove from it. <laughs> this makes everything very transparent, and we cannot argue at the end of this. Do you agree to these terms? And then the person's like, yeah. He's like, all right, off with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. But yeah, it that's mad. Sense. Yeah, I think... That's no, a good I, way of, what his way of tipping made uh, sense. Yeah, no, it does make sense. Well, well, not 50. Well, no, it might not have been 50. <laughs> but I'm just saying, he started off with a, a, a yeah. certain amount of money and then he added and removed depending on that service. That makes sense. So the person knew exactly what they were getting. There was nothing, like, shot up. They agreed to it and that's it. Although, honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, The Last of Us is probably up there as well. The Last of Cooney. Last the Last of, of Cooney. Cooney. The Last of Us was a The Last really... of Cooney Infinite. <laughs> yeah. The only disappointment that I had with that game is that it Game. You saw something in E3 which promised that the AI would be more organic than it was, and it wasn't very. It was pretty restrictive, I felt. Yeah. The AI just was very predictable. The, the only thing with that was the, the, the fact that they ignored <laughs> the other AI. Because the, the other AI should have played a more pivotal role in combat. Yeah. But again, you can, you can criticize it to death, but then you think about all the things it does well... And I think that it does post-apocalyptic the best that I've played. Arguably well, rivaling... No, 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 no. Because uh, in Metro 2033, you can at one point near the end, you actually end up with like five guys following you around. I literally just hid and let them kill everything in the room for me. So if they can interact too much, you could just do that. Yeah. You could yeah. just hide and let them kill everything. No, but Ellie, right? The flip side would be her being killed. <laughs> yeah, but see, the thing is, they did it good and they did it bad because, like, if they could just get seen all the time, they weren't smart enough to to blend in with the background like you did, right? I mean, half the time they're just running out in the middle of nowhere, and if they were able to get seen, you'd just get pissed off. So it took balls to do what they did because a lot of people criticized some of the move, but in the end, it, it actually better. helped with the gameplay. Yeah. Right? It didn't make things frustrating. They couldn't stealth. Frustrating. The, th the thing is, in, in Bioshock Infinite, there's two characters. <laughs> And in The Last of Us, there's two characters. Oh, but in Nino Kuni, there's three. So by default... <laughs> Game of the year right there. <laughs> there we go. That is good value. <laughs> Except one is like this weird... I don't know why he's hanging out with kids that are half his age. It's That's like, true. He's an old bum e kind of man. Yo, brother, you know, you're well, hanging out with people who are like 13 years old. I Technically, he's from your... the past. Yeah. But yet the future of himself. That's he's true. the back to the future version of himself. And you're not technically... Well, you know. And on that note, we're going to end it here. So, answer our question. What do you think the game of the year is at this point in time? Um, we'll do this again, probably, because, well, there's still a few more games that could qualify for a game of the year. Um, check us out on Twitter. Check us out on Facebook. Comment, subscribe. You know, like. Do that stuff. Like that shit. Comment. Pinterest. Pinterest. Amazon. Tumblr. Amazon. MySpace. Um, eBay. Brandon, Brandon has an Instagram. <laughs> I have an Instagram. Instagram. 